Hello everyone, this is Monday, April the 24th. It is 10 a.m. and we have a current temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. You can see where I'm at right now, Shuby Park Trailhead. So, here we go, walking into Shuby Park. We don't know which uh, direction I'll go yet, but we'll see when we get down here. Well, here we go in another week. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. Things went really well for us. Had a wonderful weekend. Yeah, looking forward to it too. this coming weekend, and I'm going to meet up with a friend of mine this coming weekend. So, today we're out for a nice walk. I haven't been to Shuby Park in quite a while. It's like, for anyone never been here, it's like nature trails and there's a stream goes down through there, river, brook, something like that, stream, maybe a lake. Yeah, I think there's a lake down there too. So we'll go over the highway and then we'll go down into the park. Always nice to take a walk down here. Very, very uh, relaxing place. That's Highway 111 right there. Sun is trying to come out. See, it's kind of bright up there. Still cloudy, but there is some blue sky sticking out here and there, so I'm kind of hoping for a nice day. Oh, I gotta push the button here. Almost didn't notice this. There. All right, we'll get across now. I got a walk sign. Let's go this way. Down the stairs. I think I want to stick to the trail if I can, see where it goes. I'm going to look at the sign, see what it says here. Okay. Then we'll decide which direction we're going to go in, according to what's on this sign. Okay. Well, I think that might be the, the one that goes along the highway, but we'll see. Okay, the Great Trail. Trans-Canada Trail, we're on it. Keep right, except the patch of the other Okay, the Great Trail. This is it right here. This is it, the Trans Canada Trail. And Shuby Park is also down in here, but this is the trail that I wanted to explore. The Great Trail, as they call it. Some places it's like real easy to travel on and easy to follow and other places not so easy. But right here it's really good. Great morning for a walk. 
Wow, that's perfect. There's no wind down here. Kind of sheltered from the wind, if there is any wind. I never felt a whole lot of wind this morning. That would be great if we get a day without wind. The whole weekend was windy. Huh? Really, really windy all weekend. Do you like walking on these trails? I know some people do. They, they comment on it. Said they like me going down these trails and walking through the woods and things and alleyways and all kinds of places maybe we're not supposed to go, but we sneak in there anyways. But this is perfectly allowed. This is open to the public. This is a they encourage people to walk on this road. The Trans Canada Trail. I was on this and I got I got lost. I, I couldn't pick it up again. It went up. It disappeared on me while I was walking. I had to go up on the road and I couldn't find where it, where to pick it back up again. That was down. On a, on a different different area of the city. Well, I don't anticipate any trouble with this one today. I think this would be all right. Beautiful walking through the woods, isn't it? Lots of walkers down here too today. I see a squirrel or a chipmunk. It was quite small. Might have been a chipmunk. Or it could have been a baby squirrel. Now those trails goes down into the park. But if we all stay on this, this is the Trans-Canada Trail. I'm gonna to try to stick to that today. Oh look, I see a duck. One lone duck down there, look at that. See him? He's all by himself, paddling around the water. Well, yeah, usually there's a couple of them when they're, like this is not just one. But he's all by himself. Cruising through the, the pond. It's so great just to walk through here and sometimes the silence. I don't even have to speak loud to talk today. I just talk nice and low and you can hear me. I can hear the traffic on the highway right out there. We're, we're walking right beside the highway, side 111. You can hear the traffic out there. Well, that's about the only other sound I hear is the traffic. I was out for a walk yesterday and I saw on Portland Street, the leaves were starting to pop out. The grass is really green and some flowers were popping up. That was amazing. I was so excited to see that. Now down in here, I'm not so sure. It's a little more sheltered from the sun, but we might see some, some buds opening up. Let's see, like these, like these buds right here. 
They're not really looking like leaves yet, but they are popped out. And they're very small, but they will form the leaves. Yeah, we're walking right along beside the highway. I don't know how far we can go, but it's a Trans-Canada Trail, so in theory, you're supposed to go all the way across Canada, but I've never put that to the test. There's gotta be some spots where it's not possible. We were on the old railroad line that's paved on the weekend I took my wife over there. I did a video of that spot once before and I thought, well, I was showing it to my wife and, and she hadn't, she wasn't with me when the day I did it. And so I thought, I gotta take her over with me and show her that spot where we walked down the paved railroad bed. It used to be a, rain, a train track and then it became a part of a trail and it's paved and, and you can ride bicycles down there. And beautiful. I think it's about 25 kilometers long, something like that. Shubenacadie Canal Greenway. And the trail continues on. There's a sign right there says you're on the Trans-Canada Trail. So stick to the sign, it goes this way. That goes down in the park, the trail goes this way. So you can see right down into the park. You see really good today because there's no leaves on the trees yet. You can see right through the trees. And I guess the widest one, the one with the gravel, is the, is the Trans Canada Trail, and the other ones are secondary trails. They're, they're uh, more like walks in the park, like kind of like that one. Shuby Park, it's a big place in here. Nice, nice place to spend uh, half a day or whatever a day if you want to. And there is boat rentals down. They're down in that way. Down the hill by the water, there's a lake, and, and there's boat rentals down there. Now, whether that's available right now or not, I don't know. It might be not opened yet for the season. It is early in the season yet for walking the trails down here, but not for people that like to walk the trails and joggers like this person coming here. They love it, it doesn't matter. As long as there's not snow to walk to, you're willing to come down here and walk down this trail. It's beautiful. I see some repairs done to a bench over the winter months. Probably done the spring as they're getting ready for Anticipation of people using this trail a lot. Not everybody can walk long distances. Some have to take breaks and sit. And I guess that's why the benches are along there. You can take a break if you get tired. Me, I like walking. I'm, I love walking. I don't run that much. These days, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do some running too, but I do most of my exercise walking. You know, walking is very good for you too. Not so hard on the knees as running is. A little bit of a downhill incline here right now. And garbage cans all along the way here. So if you're 
having a snack. You don't have to throw your paper on the ground. And there's even a fire hydrant in there. That kind of looks like a funny thing, but there it is. Right in the middle of the woods, there's a fire hydrant here. Imagine that. I don't know what could catch fire down here. Maybe the woods, maybe the trees. If trees caught fire, they'd have to... I guess that's it, because you can't get, be hard to get a fire truck down in here to, to put out a fire, so they got fire hydrants. Great idea, I guess. I don't know how far I want to walk on this trail, but we'll see. We'll see where it comes out. Sign says there's a rest area back in there. We got a little bridge here. I don't know if we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna cross the highway, but we'll see what happens. First time over this trail. I knew there was one here, but every time we came out here, we went down into the park. Well, this is part of the park, but we didn't take this trail. We just went down over the hill and went towards the lake. And got a little stream right here going through the wood. There, now you get a better look at it from here. Not very big, but not, not even big enough to put a canoe in. But it's the stream. And it goes under this bridge. And there's a rest area over there if you want to sit on the bench. You can do that. So I'm going to stick to the trail. Some people like to go into the park and go that way. I'm gonna stick to the trail. Cause that's what I wanted to do today was walk the the can't stand can't stand I'm sorry, I'm getting all tongue tied. The Trans Canada Trail. Oh there. I certainly won't be walking across Canada today, but I'm gonna walk a little portion of it. There's other walkers who may have walked a lot more on here than I will, but I'm gonna walk it anyways and uh, see, see where it goes. No entry to the park from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. That's reasonable. That still gives you a long day to have down here. You got till 10 p.m. I don't think I want to be here at 10 p.m. That the mosquitoes are probably a little bit be nipping at you likely if you stayed here at 10 o'clock at night. There's all kinds of things to see here. You can go off. You can get off the trail just about anywhere and, and go in and look at the scenery. Maybe when I come back, we'll explore some of this stuff I've never been on before. See, there is some blue sky starting to, starting to peek through. I'm hoping the clouds are gonna break and we'll get some nice sunshine today. There's the signs on the highway right there. Where the 111 meets the 118, we're almost down to that. They have a parking lot up by the, where, on the other side of the highway. You know, if you, you can drive up here and just park your car. Little notification came on my screen there, but it was nothing important.
Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll come back on this trail. And then I'll explore some of the park on the way back. Make a good video out of it. Let's see how long this takes. 20 minutes so far. That's good. That's, it's all right. So you can see I'm right inside the highway here. See the cars going by. I like the way they consider people's safety <clears throat> when you're walking on these trails. Like they had a culvert going into the highway. <clears throat> it showed they built a fence. Right here, just more or less <clears throat> to say don't go in there because you could slip and fall and hurt yourself. So stay on this side of the fence and everything will be fine. I guess that's the idea some big boulders down in there. They had to fill this up when they were making the trails because uh, it would have just, just went down the slope and so they had to build it up. Our government certainly has spent a lot of money making these trails for us to enjoy. And I don't know how long they've been here. It might not be the current government, it might be, this could be like, this trail could have been here for 20 years. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been built. When I was working, I didn't have time to think about Trans-Canada trails and things like that. I just, I don't know, I just work it all the time. No time to notice things that, that was around. Now I'm retired, I got lots of time to explore these things and enjoy them. That's how it goes when you're working all the time and you're, you're wrapped up in your job and you don't take time to enjoy life. It's not until you, after you're retired that you realize, oh, there's lots of stuff out here to enjoy. Don't worry, because you, cause you miss your old job. It wasn't that important. So this is important, too. So. Of course, when we, when we retire, we, for, for a while, we kind of miss work, because that was our life. That was what we did. That was, it was spend more time at work than you do anything. And when all of a sudden you retire, you're, uh, you're like, whoa, what do I do now? Gradually, it starts to hit you what to do. You take walks like this, beautiful. Look, the lake beside me, walking along and enjoying this beauty, which I never took time to do when I was working, to do things like this. Now, this is just absolutely wonderful. So that's what you got to look forward to when you retire. Don't worry about what am I gonna do now? You're gonna enjoy, you're gonna enjoy this. Beautiful trails down here. Things like that, all kinds of beautiful spots in this country to go see and look at. I don't know if making videos would be your thing or not, but it's not that hard to get into. You just need a minimal amount of equipment and you can go on YouTube, make videos for the, or other places too, there's other things you do. I chose YouTube, but there's other, <clears throat> there's other uh, places you can do videos too. 
<clears throat> but this was my thing. I went there and and uh, there's to the point now where I don't watch TV anymore. I just watch videos. I, that's all I do. I watch YouTube videos, and it's great. You learn a lot about things and different places, and and uh, you know, there's a lot of places I'll never see in person, but I can see them on YouTube. The chances of me walking around in Australia are slim. So, <clears throat> so the trail goes this way, that just goes down by the water. So we'll go, we'll stick to the trail. So like I was saying, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff you'll never see in this life. Unless you're like really wealthy and you can just go anywhere you want to go, whenever. But most of us don't have that privilege. We have to save up for a small vacation and try to have fun for a week or two somewhere that's not too far away to go to. And that's our vacations. We hardly ever took a vacation when we were working. I was very devoted to my job and I didn't want to take time off. Most years, I didn't even take a vacation. I just kept right on working and didn't take a vacation. But now we got time, we do things. We are trying to make the most of it and enjoy life. I've made a lot more friends since I'm not working anymore. Yeah, when I was working, I didn't know, all I knew was my, my people where I worked. I didn't have time to make very many friends out around anywhere. And so now I do, now I got loads of time. Well, I love this trail. Unfortunately, I can't walk all the way across Canada today, but I do love this trail. And we can go right down by the lake if we want to, if we want to, before on the way home, whatever we want to do, we can do that. It can't be boring just to go back the same way, wouldn't it? So I got to do something a little different going back. There's a, there's a trail down there along, along the the lake. I may go down that way, we'll see. I try to keep my videos to an hour. Sometimes they go over an hour. Sometimes they're less. But I try to stay in that ballpark. I usually go 45 minutes is perfect. An hour is good. Anything over an hour is getting a bit, a bit long. Look, the leaves are popping here, and the little buds are coming out. Those are leaves that just never gave up last year. They're still hanging on. Maybe the new ones will push them out, probably. Well, I can see I can walk quite a ways on this trail. But I'm not going to go too far. I've been walking half an hour now. Really enjoying my walk down here. I know it goes a lot farther than where I'm at right now, but...
see a tree laying down here on the side of the road. It probably blew down and they had to cut it and get it off. This, it was kind of in the way or something and they pushed it in there. Well, we've come this far. I'm going to keep on going to see what happens at the highway. If there's a bridge over the highway or under the highway, or what you do here. I don't want to come this far and not find out, do I? No. Highway's way up there, and I got a feeling there might be a, a tunnel or something under the highway, but I don't know that. So I'm going to walk a little bit farther and see if that's, if I'm right. Or maybe not. Maybe there's, maybe it just goes along the edge here. And but I see houses down here, so it's probably gonna. I'm thinking it's gonna cross the highway, but I might be wrong. I don't know. I, I, I'm new. I'm only here five years now, almost. August. I'll be here five years. First of August. So a lot of stuff I don't know yet. Trying to learn it all at once, and some of it's sinking in, some is not. So, but we'll see where this path goes up in here. Then I can go down under the hill and go that way if I want, or I can just uh, see where this ends up. Let's stick to the trail. Let's go on with the trail and see where it goes. I see a little dog. He must be with those ladies right there. <laughs> little dog. I love dogs. They're my favorite. They're my favorite people. There's dogs. There's a nut. That is the truth. Sometimes they're, they are very human-like. The way they relate to us. And understand us. I have dreams of one day having a dog. But... I live in an apartment and not very many apartments allow dogs, unfortunately. Well, that's pretty much it. This is like an old country road way back a couple hundred years ago. I see some kind of a bridge up ahead here. So we got to keep going. We got to find out what, what's up there. If the bridge goes over the highway or, or what. The scoop is up here, so I know there got to be something, but I don't know what, so we're going to find out. I do see an archway up ahead here. See, can you see it? Okay, that might be going over the highway. It might just be going over a street because there's houses down in here, and it could be just a street. But we'll go see. I've never been down here before. This is um, my very first time ever coming down here. So, as you enjoy it, I'm enjoying it at the same time. Well, you'll be a couple of days after me. This is Monday, and this video is going up on Wednesday. So you'll see it a couple of days after I do. Well, this is really enjoyable walking down here. And there's birds flying about and ducks swimming and lots of times there's uh, other, other things down here. But I don't think there's any 
the thing like, oh, I don't know, like maybe foxes or anything like that, or wolves. Or, I don't think there's any wolves roaming around down here, but who knows, right? We are up to the, you know where this trail is at now? The Micmac Mall. We are right across from the Micmac Mall. Wow, quite a walk down here. And I have been 36 minutes to here. And you can tell the highway's a lot louder right now. Kind of loud here from the traffic. Cause we're right beside the highway. Now we're up above the highway. McMack Mall right over there.
I see a gentleman walking a little white dog down here. He looks like he's retired, more than likely. Hello. Hi. Yes, I say hi to the dogs too. Well, what do I do now? <laughs> Where do I go from here? We'll have to see. I know I got a long walk back. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a one-way video because they just be boring uh, showing it going back. It looks like I'm gonna have about an hour long video just walking one way. So I won't, uh, I won't bore you with it going back over the same same uh, trail we took. Well, it looks like the trail might end there. Should we park trailhead? Make sure. Yeah, I don't know. If there's any more trail to go from here. Oh, maybe you go through there. That's probably what you do. You probably walk through there. Yeah, that's probably what you do. Well, we'll all check it out and see if that's what you do. Well, whoop. Okay. That might be it. We've come this far, we might as well go and see. See what's on the other side. If I am on the trail, it'll probably have a sign saying the trail. If not, that's the thing about the Transcanada Trail. It don't always continue on. It stops, and then you have to find it again, where it goes after that. Well, right now, I have no idea where the trail goes from there. I'm hoping there's a sign in here, up here somewhere, that's gonna say Trans Canada Trail. But right now, I don't have any idea where the Trans Canada Trail goes from here. Even if I don't go any farther, this has been a nice walk. I really enjoyed it. Even if I don't, can't find any more of the trail, it's been good. It's been a good walk regardless. We'll have to look around. I'm going to walk down this sidewalk and see if that's where it goes. And if that's not it, then I don't know. We'll go down there a little bit and then... If I, if I can't find the rest of the trail, we'll sign off and, and walk back up. In any event, we've learned where the trail comes. You can walk down the Big Mac Mall from, from up there on that trail. And that's pretty good. I will 
we'll see if we can pick it up down here. Well, I think we've lost the trail for now. I think it looks like it. So we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to walk back towards the direction I came from and sign off somewhere up here. Like I'm um, about 50 minutes, so I can sign off anytime. But I might just go a little bit back this way, and then I'll sign off. Okay. Hope you're enjoying this. A little walk with me as noisy right here because of all the traffic. But once I get back on the trail, it'll quiet down again. Well, we'll just go back the way I came, I guess, and I can explore some other things on the way back if I decide to. There. Let's have a look here. No, yeah, 40, 48, I think that says 48 minutes. But we'll keep on walking for a while. We'll go back through under this bridge. And I'll start back the trail we walked on because I might take some side steps and uh, try exploring other things, so we'll see. I'm starting to warm up a bit now, I hope it's on. And I won't need to wear my gloves, I got my gloves on. But it's, when it's kind of cool in the morning, it's nice to have your gloves on and hands don't get uncomfortable. There we go, we get across here. And we'll go back on our trail. All right, we'll go back on the trail now. I promise I won't go more than an hour, all right? Shuby Canal Greenway Corridor, that's what we came down on. And I'll read you the rules. Keep pets on a short leash. Use bike bell before passing people. Travel at a safe speed. Cyclists must yield to pedestrians. Keep right except to pass. There we go. That's the rules. The rules of the road on this narrow gravel road.
here comes a gentleman with a dog. A lot of people walk their dogs down here. Yeah. I'll go on the other side. I think you don't have to cross the, the road because you might want to keep on that side with his dog. Probably the best idea. Not every dog is friendly, but it looks like he probably is, but not every dog is friendly. Hello. Well, I'm gonna get my walking in today. 40 minutes, one way. Let's see, have a look at this now. 52 minutes, but I'm on my way back now, so. And I promise I won't go in more than 60 minutes. I'll sign off somewhere before long here. There's the McMack Mall again. Oh, there's a big dog. I think it's one of those uh, hounds, those racing hounds. Looks kind of like that, yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Dogs, they're so friendly. Anyone who's from this area would recognize these signs. You know where we are. So 
So, I'm looking at my clock here. And it's saying 56 minutes. So I promised I wouldn't go over an hour. So, I'm gonna stop my and do my video. That must be the van belonging to the guy with the dog. Probably get out right there and walk this dog in here. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, push that like button. And that will just make me feel happy that you push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I would love it if you, if you become a subscriber. It all helps. The more subscribers I get, the, the more it's going to help. And like I always remind people, it doesn't cost anything. You just got to push your finger on that subscribe where it says subscribe to this channel and you'll, you'll, and you'll be in the loop. You'll get all my videos. And, and uh, aside from that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care. Be safe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.